five frames were released from a security camera at the Pentagon. The only problem is that the release of these five photographs seemed to raise more questions than they answered. 8,600 remaining gallons of fuel would have been ignited on the 757 that had hit the Pentagon. Again, we look at the photograph and ask ourselves, is the smoke and heat damage consistent with that amount of fuel being ignited? First of all, why was the date incorrect in the lower left corner of the screen? Second of all, they really didn't show that there was a 757 that had hit the Pentagon. And thirdly, many people asked, is this the only security camera that was on at the Pentagon? The Pentagon, this is the nerve center for the United States military, supposedly the most secure building in the country. And this is the only video footage that was available of the most heinous attack ever recorded at the Pentagon? Where were all the other security cameras aimed? What about the security cameras that were on in the hallways of the Pentagon? Every inch of the Pentagon is under video surveillance. Where are those video cameras? The amount of fuel that would have been left in the aircraft that had hit the Pentagon would basically have reduced that section of the Pentagon to rubble and would have burned for days. We can see the firefighters pulling the hoses away from the fire truck. In the foreground, we can see wire spools that were left on the front lawn of the Pentagon. After all, this section of the Pentagon was under renovation. We'll use these wire spools as reference points. Also, to the right of those wire spools and on the face of the Pentagon, we can see that some concrete facing has broken away. We'll also use this as a reference point as we examine these photographs. Now, to the left of that area where the facing has broken off, we can clearly see that the Pentagon has not yet collapsed. There are some flaming areas, and that area appears to be the only section where there is a hole approximately 14 to 16 feet. How does a 757 fit into a 16-foot hole and leave no wreckage on the front of the building? We can also see that the roof of the building does show fatigue, but has not yet collapsed. In this photograph, an astonished onlooker sees exactly what we're seeing. The Pentagon had not yet collapsed. And again, there is no sign of any wreckage whatsoever. No tail, no fuselage, no wings, no wheels, no engines, no seats, no luggage, nothing on the outside of the Pentagon. The Pentagon roof line is clearly visible, and again, it is under fatigue, but it had not yet collapsed. 8,600 gallons of fuel had a BTU rate of 86 million. Look at the lower left corner. You'll see engine 331 from the Metropolitan Washington Airport Authority. And we contacted the fire chief from this engine company. Chief Plower agreed to come on our radio show along with two of his firefighters. But one hour before airtime, they canceled. We were told that the two firefighters had been placed on indefinite leave. When we look at this photograph, we can see that the fire retardant foam is being sprayed on the front of the Pentagon. And again, the area in question had not yet collapsed. And you can see right in the center of the photograph, a big area where some of the concrete facing has broken away. And it appears that this is the only major hole in the front of the Pentagon. Again, is this hole big enough to accommodate a 757? And where is the wreckage? In this photograph, we again see engine 331 and fire retardant foam being sprayed on the front of the Pentagon. Note clearly, in the center of the photograph, we see the upper floors of the Pentagon, again, yet to collapse. But, also notice that there does not appear to be any damage to these upper floors. If the height of the Boeing 757 was 44 feet 6 inches, there should have been some point of impact in these upper floors, and yet when we look at these pictures, there doesn't appear to be any impact whatsoever in the area where the tail should have hit. And again, there is no wreckage visible on the front of the lawn. About two miles from the Pentagon, you can see the smoke billowing up from the building. Huge clouds of smoke, so much so that uh, 
commuters coming into town have pulled over to the side of a busy freeway, what is ordinarily a busy freeway, and are sitting watching in amazement as the symbol of the United States defense establishment uh, goes up in smoke. So there is an amazement all over Washington. Uh, people are not sure what to think. Uh, you've got a lot of federal employees standing around in this area watching as the streets are blocked off and emergency vehicles rush to and fro. We're not sure uh, what they are up to, uh, but clearly there is concern about the safety of the White House and the surrounding buildings. John. Uh, Jim, do you know anything about uh, what kind of uh, plane? There's an old saying in Tennessee, I know it's in Texas, probably in Tennessee, that says, fool me once, shame on, shame on you. You fool me, we can't get fooled again. Fool me, we can't get fooled again.